Today we're going to start page six of our chapter four notes, and the title of this is Linear Functions, Direct Variation and Absolute Value Functions. So we're going to continue talking about functions, which is the theme of this chapter. Some functions have special properties, like I, I said in the previous video. A one-to-one -one function, like we said, is a special function, but the definition of a one-to-one -one function, so I'll put a DEF in front of this. This is the definition of what a one-to-one -one function is. Each Y value comes from one and only one X value. This is the reverse of what a function is. A regular function has one x value for every y value, but a one-to-one -one function has each y value comes from one and only one x value. I hope I said that right. The function has the x's and y's switched in the one in the one-to-one -one is this. So in other words, a function is one-to-one -one if no two ordered pairs, and remember ordered pairs usually come in the form of an xy numbers, have the same second element. So in other words, if you have a list of x, y values, let's say we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and I'll do 7, 8. Here's a list of ordered pairs. This is 1 to 1 because every second element is unique. Each y value is unique. On the other hand, if you have, and I'll just, um, let's see, where can I put this? I think I'll put it down here. If we have a set of ordered pairs that goes like this, 3 comma 4, 4 comma 4, 5 comma 6, this is not 1 to 1 because these two y values are duplicates. This 4 and this 4 are the same number. 4 is duplicated, or it's the same, in the y values. All right, so when you, whenever you have two y values that are the same, it is not 1 to 1. So there's your two examples of what is 1 to 1 and what is not 1 to 1. The function y equals x is 1 to 1, but y equals x squared is not. Well, one quick way we can see is if we wanted to graph y equals x. So you take the graphing calculator out, and y equals x is just a horizontal line that goes through the origin. So you can just say, well, it is 1 to 1. This is y equals x because it passes, if you remember, it passes the HLT and the VLT this y equals x. But the function y equals x squared, if you want to look at y equals x squared, you can just see that that's a parabola. And this parabola is not one to one. This is y equals x squared because if you drew a horizontal line through it, I think I'll draw it in red like I have been on the other pages. If you draw a horizontal line through it, it touches it in two spots. This fails the horizontal line test, and that is the reason why it is not one-to-one. -one. So we can tell, like we said before, if a graph function is one-to-one -one with a horizontal line test like I just did, and remember that the vertical line test tells that the relation is a function. Okay, this is one-to-one. -one. This is almost like this y equals x one. This is one-to-one -one because all the vertical lines just touch at once, all the horizontal lines just touch at once. So we can say this passes the VLT and the HLT. But this is not one-to-one -one because if you draw a horizontal line, it'll touch it twice. This fails the horizontal line test. There's another type of function that you don't hear too much about, but I'll mention it anyways. It's called onto. A function is onto if each member of the range, remember range is the y values, if every value, every y value is mapped to some member of the domain. In other words, if every element in the range is used or is, is accounted for. This one y equals 2x minus 1 is on 2, but this y equals absolute value of 
x is not on to because all of these y values down here, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, they are not used. So um, all y values less than 0 are not used. I'll say used, or they're not part of the function. They're not included in this graph. Okay, that's why this one is not on to. But this is on to because all the y values, you should have um, arrows on both ends of this because this graph goes on and on forever. If you can see all the ranges, all the y values are used. All the y values from negative infinity to infinity. Um, so that's why this one is on two. And here's a mapping diagram, two mapping diagrams. In this next set of diagrams, A to B, here's A and here's B. A to B, this is a set of numbers. This is another set of numbers. If you map A onto B, it is on two because all of these Y values are used. But this one is not on two because this 9 is not used. It's not pointed to by, this is domain, if you remember from the other page, and this is range. This is domain of the other um, relation, and this is the range. So this y, or this 9, is not used, or it has no x value associated with it, so it's not one to one, or it's not on to. This is not on to. This one is on to because all those y values are used up. Also, a to b is one to one because every single element in the range has only one value in the domain and vice versa. So this one is one to one and on to. This one is not one to one because this five has two different x values going to it. One goes to five, three goes to five. So because this five has two arrows, this is not one to one. So because this nine is not used, because the five is used two times, this is not one to one. You might want to make a note as far as why it's not one to one in your notes. On the next page, we're going to talk about another, um, another topic called direct variation. This was a topic from Algebra 1, and you don't see it a whole lot in Algebra 2, but we're doing a different kind of variation soon, which is like the opposite of direct variation. So I'm going to talk about what direct variation is. Direct variation has to do with the ratio. A ratio is a fraction usually represented by a fraction when the fraction when the ratio of two variables is a constant constant means always the same value constant same that's what a constant is we say that the variables are directly proportional or that they vary directly. The root word of variation is vary. Vary means to change, and these are directly, um, very directly. Two variables are directly proportional. They increase or decrease by the same factor, k. This is that constant that we're talking about right here. The constant is called k. So every direct variation of two variables Two variables are usually the x and y. It is a straight line. A linear function is a straight line when graphed, and it passes through the origin. The equation, here's an important thing. The equation of direct variation is those two variables. Remember, we said it was a fraction. So when you create a fraction out of the two variables, it's always equal to this constant called k. Or if you want to cross multiply, it, um, if you put k over 1, y times 1 is y, and k times x is kx. Either one of these two, these say the same thing. It just depends on the problem. Okay, so k is a constant, which is just some number. 
and k is called the constant of proportionality. You don't have to know that vocabulary word. So this comes from page 134 of your textbook, but you don't really need a textbook because I printed these out. This first question, um, or all of these questions up through number 20, part A says to graph it, part B asks, is this direct variation? Part C says, is it one to one? And the last part says, state the domain and the range. So I'm going to do numbers 13 and 16, 17 and 20 with you, and we'll do the rest of these in class. So the first one, y equals 3x. I'm going to get the, my graphing calculator out and see what y equals 3x looks like. So you press the graph button, y equals 3x. This is a linear function. It's a straight line, and look, it goes through the origin. So here's the graph. We'll just sketch it really quick. It goes through the origin, and maybe I'll even try to draw it as a straight line here. This is the x-axis, this is the y-axis, and this is y equals 3x. Is this direct variation? Well, direct variation, if you remember, a direct variation is a linear function, and a linear function, a straight line, Straight lines are in the form of y equals mx plus b. That's something I really hope you remember from Algebra 1, y equals mx plus b. And the b is equal to 0. So actually, y equals mx is all you need for um, direct variation, y equals mx, or in other words, y equals kx. k is a constant which is the slope. So is this direct variation? Yes, this is direct variation. It's linear. It goes through the origin. Is this one-to-one? -one? Yes, because it passes the horizontal and vertical line test. What is the domain? Is there a leftmost x? Is there rightmost x? No, this goes to the left and to the right forever. This goes down. This goes up forever. So the domain and range are both all real numbers. Okay, left forever, right forever, up and down forever. This next one, y equals 8 over x. Let's see what this function looks like. 8 divided by x. Well, this is a different kind of graph. We're going to study this type of graph soon, but when we sketch this, we can just draw the general shape. It goes like this and it goes like this. It won't touch the x-axis, it won't touch the, the y-axis. So the question is, is this direct variation, is this a linear function? No, it is not a straight line, it's not linear, and it doesn't go through the origin either. Is this a one-to-one -one function? Well, yes, because when you draw a horizontal line, it'll pass it, so the answer is yes. It passes the vertical and horizontal line test. What is the domain? Oops, I'm doing the wrong problem here. Sorry, this one is question. I'll have to reverse this when I go through this in class. This is y equals 8 over x. Sorry about that. And we'll do y equals negative x over here in class. All right, so what is the domain of this? Well, the domain is all real numbers except for 0. You can't have a 0 in here for x, or else it'll be 8 over 0. And you can see that in the table of values. When you see an error in this y column, it means that value of x is not in the domain. See that error? So this is all real numbers, which I abbreviate with a fancy r, except for, that's a shorthand way of writing except for, zero. All real numbers except for zero. And what is the range? Well, the range is the same thing. The range is not going to ever be equal to zero. It's never going to be touching that um, x-axis. So all real numbers except for zero will be the domain and range of number 16. Moving on to number 17, y equals a half x. Y equals half x is another straight line that goes right through the origin. So it looks like y equals 3x, except the slope is not quite as steep. So we'll just uh, graph that thing again with a straight line. This is a linear function. 
The question is, is this direct variation? Yes, it's linear. It goes through the origin. Is it one-to-one? -one? Yes, it is, because it passes the horizontal and vertical line test both. And just like number 13, the domain is all real numbers, and so is the range, all real numbers, left and right forever, up and down forever. And now I'm going to move over and do number 20 in the right location. x over y equals 2. Well, we need to solve this for y before we put it in our graphing calculator, so I'm going to put a 1 underneath the 2 and cross multiply. 2 times y is 2y equals x times 1, which is 1x. And to solve that for y, you're going to divide both sides by 2. So y is equal to x over 2. Well, let's see what y equals x over 2 looks like. x over 2. Well, what you can see is it's exactly the same graph as before because x over 2 is the same exact thing as 1 half x. So this question 20 is the same as question 17. They are the same function. So I'm not going to repeat myself like I, I already put everything on number 17. So it's the same as 17. So when you look at 20, you can see that it's the same thing. But make sure you always solve this for y so you can put it into the graphing calculator and take a look at the graph. All right, domain is all real numbers. Range is all real numbers. Yes and yes. All right, and then the rest of this worksheet we're going to be doing in class tomorrow. So have a good night.